Welcome back to the time where Darth Vader figured out that lightsabers were extremely dangerous. In this video, I'm going to show you how I placed holes for magnets in the slicer and then printed those parts and placed magnets in to make my model detachable. To make my models to be able to disassembly, <laughs> to be able to disassemble my models and ship them a lot easier. Can play Fortnite at 160 frames per second, but can't load freaking lychee slicer file in less than four hours. Okay, welcome to my mess of my supports. It is not the most ideal situation, but I have pretty freaking clean prints without many too much of damage. So I'm quite happy with the way that I support things. Everything I support is all supported by myself. Usually I trust myself more than I trust pre-supports most cases. Let me show you these two parts, right? So these are these examples exact two parts these are breathing holes and also it's a lot easier to clean the part if you have holes on both sides um, because I don't know if you know the way that uh, liquids work but if you have a hole on one side and a hole on the other side <laughs> liquids get sucked through so that's uh, actual scientific fact um, and that's why I have those two extra holes so you can see this is just a hole if we go into the prepare we can have a look it's a five millimeter diameter hole and all i do is i make sure that it's lined up as close as my eye can find it in the center of that spot go and find the corresponding spot and try to line that up as close as i can to the center it's not going to be perfect but it's going to be damn near close enough trust me these are we're talking microns or millimeters here these are tiny tiny little distances that it would be off by and with these magnets, it will hold no matter what. On the arm of this lady, for example, it was too thin to put one five millimeter. So I put two three millimeter ones over there and I did the corresponding thing on this corresponding arm as well. That was just as strong as the five millimeter magnets. To make my magnets stick, all I do is take the magnet that I'm gonna use for the particular application. In this instance, you can see these magnets stuck here. So what you, what I normally would do is I'd take that magnet, make sure I've got the correct polarity, and I would then op obviously open up my glue and put a load of glue on the end of that magnet and stick it in the hole. What you've got to be careful of is the magnets being glued to each other. It's usually a good idea to take a piece of paper or a piece of plastic is usually better because plastic will not necessarily stick to the super glue. And then you can stick that to your part. You can glue it into the part there. So this is how I did these. You can see there's a magnet on the inside there. The magnet is glued over here. Those two parts stick together and that's it. So the other obvious way to do this, if you obviously haven't been able to do this in the slice or anything, you can take your part and find the center of your part drill a small hole first because it's resin it will want to explode so drill a small hole first once you've got a small hole probably starting with a 1.5 maybe a one mil drill bit let's say the magnet size was four mil i would drill a one millimeter or a 1.5 millimeter hole first and then i would slowly drill to the depth of the magnet and then i would take a three mil and drill that out and then drill out the four mil later it's best to work it up like that so you don't explode the resin. I hope that was an informative video for you. That was a massive word. I don't even know how I thought of that word on such a spot. But I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, smash the like, hit the subscribe. And you know what to do if you didn't like the things. Then if you don't like the things, then you need to fuck off out the things. Thank you for coming. Please come again soon. What? Who does that?